Alright, we are back with a fresh edition of the Valley's Most In-Depth Weather Forecast video. It is, of course, called Weather for Weather Geeks. So we did not do a video yesterday, but we're back at it on this uh, Tuesday. It was a warm day today for a change. It's been a long time since we've been able to say that. In fact, it's been about two and a half weeks since we have had an above average high temperature. But we were warmer than the average today, officially at the airport, 81 degrees. Look at the long string of 50s and 60s, mostly for highs over the last 10 days. We had a couple of days with highs in the 70s, including yesterday's 74. Now it was a beautiful day on Monday, but today, finally, we got into the 80s, which is a little more typical of late June, early July, rather than early June. Now, as the sun rose this morning, there was some haze in the sky, yes, but for the most part, I don't think the haze was especially noticeable in our sky. It'll be noticeable again on the western horizon this evening as the sun goes down. But the wildfire smoke off to the west is definitely thicker in parts of Michigan and Indiana, where you see kind of those orangish, ruddy colors. You know, think Indianapolis, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Chicago, Milwaukee, places like that. The air quality is definitely degraded over there, especially once you're up into the upper Midwest around Minneapolis and up towards northern Wisconsin, the UP of Michigan. The air quality very poor up there. It's going to continue to be very poor off to our north and west. Our air quality is not as much of a concern here locally, mostly in the moderate category in Ohio and western Pennsylvania. A few pockets of code oranges have been issued. That's uh, where the air quality is unhealthy, unhealthy, I should say, for some groups. And, you know, we had a lot of this a couple of summers ago. Do you remember that real smoky summer in 2023? We show graphics like this fairly frequently. And so here's just a reminder of what kind of these colors mean. When we're in the moderate category, for the vast, vast majority of folks, uh, the air quality is not going to be an issue. It's only the people that are very, very sensitive that should limit their exertion outdoors. You can be outside, but if you're going to be exerting yourself outdoors and you are particularly sensitive to uh, air quality problems, um, maybe you want to consider limiting your time outdoors. But once you get into orange and above, that's where those uh, asthma sufferers and other and people who have other ailments that makes them you know one of these you know populations that uh, definitely want to limit their exposure outdoors, especially outdoor exertion. When you get uh, some air quality problems, uh, orange and then especially red into into purple. Thankfully, around here we don't see those levels of air quality degradation all that often. But the uh, smoke that's been suspended pretty far aloft is going to try to waft down into the lower levels of the atmosphere a little bit more on our uh, Wednesday. And so, you know, I'm not expecting this to be anything like some of the days we had a couple of years ago, but uh, there could be, you know, some pockets of code orange again on Wednesday. For most, it's going to be in that moderate category, the air quality at least due to the smoke. Now, other particulates in the atmosphere, uh, your ordinary run-of-the-mill pollutants, uh, those will be a factor certainly, but because of the presence of the wildfire smoke, that's what this graphic shows, uh, that wildfire smoke will bring about moderate air quality uh, in terms of, of the smoke itself. Now, in terms of the weather itself on Wednesday, boy, it's off to the races temperature-wise. Showers and storms stay well off to our west on Wednesday with a southwesterly wind and a full supply of sunshine, even though there will be that haze in the air. I think it's going to be the warmest day of the year so far in most places. We've got officially a high of 87 in our forecast, but could your car thermometer read 89 or 90? Could some bank thermometers, local thermometers, certainly touch 90 tomorrow afternoon? I think that's a possibility. In terms of any rain around here, I think we're mostly dry through Thursday morning. It's Thursday afternoon as this front really kind of hits the brakes and almost washes out. But it's still enough of a boundary on Thursday in the area that we're going to allow for a pretty good chance of showers and thunderstorms Thursday afternoon. Now, I don't think severe weather is particularly likely, but would I be surprised if we had a couple of hail producing storms? I wouldn't be surprised by that. Uh, could we have some tropical downpours? Sure. Uh, this is a juicy air mass. Um, that is going to be overhead on Thursday. The dew points will be coming up into the 60s. Not going to be quite as warm as tomorrow on Thursday, but warm enough, certainly, with those dew points creeping up into the 60s that some real, you know, Florida-like downpours will be a possibility. Again, that front kind of washes out. There's no longer much of a an ongoing thing on the weather maps by Friday, but this is still a, a relatively unsettled day, I think, on Friday with more clouds than sun and a decent chance of at least some showers around, maybe some thunder. I doubt the thunder chances are as high Friday as they will be on Thursday. The air looks a little more stable on Friday. So precipitation over the next 72 hours, highest amounts to our west, but could someone see a half an inch here locally over the next 72 hours? That's a possibility. You might even see some higher totals locally if we get a couple of real gully washers 
with those thunderstorms Thursday afternoon. We're going to hang on to the chance for some wet weather into Saturday, especially Saturday morning. Modeling today is a little more pessimistic about Saturday's forecast, but that being said, I think we're going to see an improving trend by Saturday afternoon, and especially on Sunday. Sunday looks like a fine day. Now, once we lose the abnormal warmth by later this week, it's kind of an unremarkable temperature trend taking us into the first half of next week. In other words, highs in the mid-70s, that's pretty much par for the course at this time of the year. Maybe a modest warming trend during the uh, tail end of next week. But one thing for sure, one thing we're pretty confident of, the real crummy, cool, even March-like weather that we've had of late is not coming back probably until the fall season. Uh, myself included, maybe you're one of uh, the people who was still running their furnace for a few minutes anyway during the morning hours over the weekend. I know I had, I had to kick mine on both Saturday morning and Sunday morning. I wasn't happy about that. It's June. What's the furnace doing on? But it was in the 30s at my house Saturday and Sunday mornings, and it was pretty chilly inside. So, yeah, we kicked on the furnace briefly to uh, take the chill off in the mornings, but uh, we won't be doing that again anytime real soon. Thanks for watching Weather for Weather Geeks on this Tuesday evening. Make it a great rest of your night, and let's meet back here on Wednesday.